Okay, the first time I did this video was on Drupal 6. Um, I still think that for some of the things that this tutorial, this video does, are a lot better in Drupal 6, but um, since there was a couple questions about Drupal 7 and how to get this work in Drupal 7, uh, I decided to take a look tonight, and um, it really was my first uh, attempt at Drupal 7 or attempt at this in Drupal 7, and I gotta say there's a couple things I like, a couple things I don't like, um, but overall I think it's headed in a good direction. Um, things are just different. Um, so first off, uh, Drupal uh, node as a gallery. This is adding pictures to a node, to a to one node, not to multiple nodes, but just to one, and turning that into a gallery and a gallery that you can view over and over again. And you can do this a couple ways. You can do it with um, uh, CCK, or um, not with CCK, but with Contemplate, um, with views. This one focuses on, or with theming, uh, theming or views or whatever. This one focuses on views, on using views for that. Um, first things first, the outlay has obviously changed a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at my modules that I got. Um, and some of the stuff has moved into core, uh, image API, image cache, um, image field, and CCK for the most part has moved into core. So those things you don't need to add and install. You can see they're right there. Um, there's field, they call it field now, I guess. Um, and image provides image manipulation tools. That's kind of your image cache stuff. Um, don't need to play around with any of that. I'm gonna just. Uh, you need uh, C tools, chaos tools, um, to get views going. You didn't need chaos tools for views in Drupal six and Drupal seven. You need C tools. Um, so chaos tools. And then I did a couple stuff because I also like panels. Um, even though really you only need C tools. Uh, views. Got to download and install. Uh, right now it's on RC1. I don't know when it's going to change to newer versions, but right now it works. Um, and then views UI, obviously, to inter to administer the views. And then I also did shadow box. There was light box, shadow box, thick box. Um, but I like shadow box. I like the way it looks, and it and it actually integrates very well with uh, Drupal 7 right now for pictures. I haven't tested anything else, but get those installed. Um, then head over to your content, we're gonna go ahead and create our content type, or I'm sorry, head over to your structure. Uh, we're gonna create our content type right here. So I'm gonna add my new content type and I'm gonna title it a photo gallery. Uh, photo, and it kind of renames your stuff. I don't know if you see this here, but I'm typing photo gallery and then the machine name, photo underscore gallery, it's great. Um, makes things a lot simpler. Um, uh, gallery title um, publish promoted a front page that's fine that's what I want to do but um, display settings display author author and data information if you want to do it you don't have to um, comments that's fine menu I'm not putting it in the menu um, go ahead and save it save your content type now I've got a photo gallery content type in what I don't like is it doesn't give you an option to get rid of the body because um, honestly the body is not I don't like it for this so I'm going to add two new fields I'm going to add a um, photo field or actually I'm going to add my description field first if you want to title your your description or whatever uh, I'm just going to make it a uh, long text text area multiple rows and I'm going to create it as a two row field because any more description than that and you're writing a novel. And then I'm going to add a photo field, uh, or a picture field. We'll edit uh, photos because it's multiples. Uh, like I said, image is in core already. Uh, if you install and just do the basic install, it's already there. Um, and I'll show you real quick here in a minute. It also, they add three presets automatically. Um, a thumbnail, a medium, and a large. I'm gonna edit. Well, those sizes are they're kind of small, but you you'll see. Um, label photos. That's great. File directory. I'm gonna call it images. Um, and then on number of values. I'm gonna set to unlimited. And this is the one thing I don't like. I'll go back over it later. But I don't like the way the unlimited is done. 
and there's kind of a discrepancy on to how it should be handled or which group should be handled now that the, now that CCK is kind of in core. Um, and I say kind of. So great, I've got a content type. Let's go ahead and add some content. Um, here I'm gonna, there we go. Add content right up there, top left corner. I'm gonna add a photo gallery. Let's go ahead and this is what I don't like. I can create a gallery title. Uh, photos, but remember in D6, down here we had we would have an add more. You can click that 16,000 times if you wanted to, and it would just keep adding, 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 and you just browse, 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 browse. Done. Um, I'll take a look at multiple image upload modules later, but for right now, you have to browse, find one, open it, upload, browse, find one, open it, upload. Kind of a slower process un until I get a. Uh, more of a main module going. Um, open, upload. I'm just going to do, uh, we'll do a couple pictures here. Um, yeah, that one looks good. That's something I need to make over my cooking vlog. Learn how to make those. Um, open, upload. I'll add a couple in here. My super cute daughter. Maybe I shouldn't. Those ones are a lot larger. Um, we'll just do what is that? Six photos now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's enough. Um, add a description. And then you can obviously set up all the path and all that kind of stuff. Author information, publish, promoted front page, so you can see it. But there we go. I've got my I got my photos. I've got something that I can work with that I can pull from views later. Um, there we go. Now there's my awesome photos. You said all that kind of stuff. But look, oh, the sizes are sucky and off. Um, to edit those sizes and whatnot, gotta go back to to uh, structure and content types. Manage your display. And then this is kind of like your, uh, well, same thing in Drupal 7. Um, we'll set that above. Hide the label for that. And I like shadow box because I like shadow box. Um, and this is kind of showing you how to structure your data. We're not, we're not to the point of creating our gallery yet. And I'm going to set it to large and gallery, gallery node, uh, no title. Update it, save it. So now if I go to my front page. See my things a little. Oops, did I make them hidden? I may have. I may have done it for the teaser on accident, but there we go. There's a small and the large. And the small and the large. It's great. Um, there we go. Found out what my issue was. I uh, hit the teaser. So there we go, there's my content, there's my, it's all in order, it's okay, looks okay. Um, now like I said, there's two ways you can do it, you can do you can do a, a contemplate theming and theme it all down, um, or we can create a view, and that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to go to my structure, go to views, and views is a lot different looking here, for the most part. I'm going to add a new view. Uh, Type gallery block. I'm not going to create a page because I want to create a block. It's going to be a block for me. I'm going to call it a. Make it a grid of fields. And this this is kind of what's different is that you can pull full titles, full posts, all that kind of stuff. But I want fields. Um, and it's for page zero. Uh, it's kind of got this wizard thing. I don't I don't know if I like it yet. Um, Type photo gallery sorted news first. That's fun. As per page, must be a positive integer. Um, we're going to change that to zero. Um, uh, each page. Let's 
Okay, display all items. I guess it's stupid not to. Um, fields, I'm going to go ahead and add my photo field content. And this is kind of why I don't like because content was kind of moved into core, so it's a little harder to find your stuff because it's all with all this other crap. Um, and there we go. That's all I need. Add and configure. I don't want to label formatter or shadow box because I want it to be nice and pretty. Um, image style. Do thumbnail to large. That's fine. Gallery set it for the. Yeah, we'll set it for the field. Um, and then multiple field settings. This is important. Multiple field settings right here. Whoa, zoom in and out. Uh, uncheck display all the values in the same row because we don't want to display all the values in the same row. Save it. There's my auto preview. Great, but it's got a title there. Don't want it. Let's go to uh, this, remove it. Now I've just got my photos, but here's where it gets in tricky. Advanced and contextual filters. What used to be called arguments is now contextual filters. Um, so I'm going to create a contextual filter for the NID, the node ID. Um, Add and configure your contextual contextual filter for all displays because that's what it is. Um, oops. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Provide a default view for content ID from URL. So even though it's an NID, content ID from URL. Apply all displays. Now on my preview, I don't have anything there because it's for the content ID or the node ID, whatever they're calling it these days. Um, stupid camera's going out of whack. So there we go. I've got my block. We're going to name my block name uh, Gallery Block. All this Ajaxy stuff is cool, but it's kind of the layer on layer is kind of a different feel. Um, that's all I'm going to do. Caching. Uh, I'm not going to set any caching yet. Um, permissions. I don't have anything displaying all items, all that kind of stuff. So save your view. Now we've got a view as a block um, and we need to go add it to, see we've got our awesome photos there, that's great, but I need to add it into my structure as part of the blocks. Um, if you notice I said the gallery block right there. Let me go ahead and put it in the content and save it. But there's this cool little thing, they kind of, in Drupal 7 they've got their main page page content. That's, that'll be below the title, but uh, all your CCK fields, all that kind of stuff. See if I, the way it is, if I look at my home page now, or rather not my home page, but if I look at the gallery, there's my block. There's all the pictures that are up there rearranged, but it's below the comments. It's below all that kind of stuff, and it's got its title all that. So I'm going to go back to my structure, go to my blocks and take that gallery block, just drag it above main page content, save it, and then check out my content again. Now, gallery block's right where I want it to be. There's my view sitting right up above all this stuff, right above the description, right above, that's great. But I've still got this stuff down here, and I left it in there so you guys could see kind of how the content works with D7, but uh, let's go ahead and get that out of there. Um, and rehide it. Manage display. And like I said, if I'm going fast, it's for time constraints because there's only like 10 minutes for. Um, let's go ahead and take and hide this. Only 10 minutes for YouTube videos and stuff. Um, save it. Great. Saved. Awesome photos. Let's refresh this page. Come on, let's just save it. Structure, content types. Save it extra this time. There we go. So now I've got a gallery block, um, and I'm actually going to configure the block, take out the name. Uh, And then uh, 
if you've got um, listed pages or, or your content setups, you have only got as uh, well, you can't see that, but it's only set up as Node 2 right now. But if you've got it set up where you've got a photo galleries content type and you've done your auto URLs, you can restrict it to only show on those pages. So it doesn't show on every node. Because it'll, it'll load on every node, but it, there's nothing actually there. But there you go. There's your gallery, your node as a gallery for Drupal 7. Um, if you got any questions, I know I went kind of through it kind of fast. Let me know. Um, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the uh, whatever else questions you got. Um, it's kind of a simple concept, but again, Drupal 7 is a little different. You can't do a lot of things with image cache just yet, um, or image cache actions. I really didn't install any of that stuff. But if you got questions, ask me, please. Hope that helped.